Hey you guys, Blaze here from Blaze and Reviews, and today we're going to be checking out the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. If you have a home theater system with surround and height speakers, how do you know you're getting proper Dolby Atmos with the sounds coming from the correct speakers and locations? Setting up a home theater and testing all the speakers can be very frustrating. You have to place the speakers in just the right locations, check the room's acoustics, and adjust the volume for each speaker. Perhaps you've used Direct Live, Odyssey, or even Room Equalizer Wizard, which is all great software. The problem is, you need a good calibration microphone connected to your computer, and Room Equalizer Wizard doesn't support height channels. Well now there is an easy way to make sure you are getting proper sounding Dolby Atmos from your speakers, so you can move and adjust them with ease. Introducing the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit, brought to you by Joe and Tell and Techno Dad. Two audio files who set out to make home theater setup and calibration a breeze. So what exactly is it, and how does it work? Well, let's dive right into it. But first let me state, this is not a tutorial of how to use this disc and adjust your system. I'm just going to show you each category on the disc and what it does, and then give you my opinion about it. Joe Intel and Technodad have great tutorials that give you an in-depth overview of how to use this disc properly and implement it for your home theater system. Yo! The first option on the disc is the intro, which explains what the disc will be doing and also informs you to set your volume to a comfortable level as sounds will be played at high volumes and can hurt your ears. This is where you'll hear a voice calling out the specific speakers that the sound should be coming from. So you can check to make sure your speakers are wired up correctly and the sounds are coming from the proper speakers. Front left. Center. Front right. Surround right. Surround back right. Surround back left. Surround left. Front height left. Front height right. Rear height right. Rear height left. LFB. Yo! Level matching is making sure from your listening position that all the levels of your speakers are equal. You can also do this with software and a calibration microphone, but what's awesome about this is it's coming from a disc that you are playing on your 4K Blu ray player. And since you'll be using your home theater system to mainly watch disc, it's good to use a disc playing pink noise to adjust the levels. So you can level match what your 4K disc player can actually output, rather than what your receiver is outputting. Center. Polarity tests make sure you have all your speakers wired correctly, so it will play pink noise out of two different speakers, and on the screen it will show you in phase and out phase. When it's in phase, it should sound direct and have low frequencies. This means your speakers are wired correctly, but if they are out of phase, the sound will be more all over the place and not directly from where it should be coming from. This means your speakers aren't wired correctly, and you need to double check them. Front left, front right. Yo! Timing test is used to set your speakers so the sound from each speaker will arrive at your listening position at the same time. The cool thing about this on disc is, you can physically move your speakers around and adjust them to where they need to be for those sounds to arrive at your listening position perfectly. If the timing is off on your speakers, it just won't sound right and can ruin your movie experience. If you don't have a lot of space, however, to move your speakers around, then this test might not be for you. One. Two. Three. Four. 
Crossover points will test how low your speakers can go in Hertz. Maybe your speakers are advertised to handle 60 Hertz, but can they handle that? This will test them to see if that's true. But before you do this, cut off your subwoofer so it's not activated during this test. The great thing about this on disc is, it supports home theater configurations with up to 9.1.6, so height channels are supported. Speaker pairs is kind of like the timing test, where you can check to make sure your speakers are spaced evenly and properly based on your listening position. But instead of playing a boop noise, it plays pink noise coming out of each speaker. When pink noise is playing out of both your front right and left speakers, it should sound like it's coming from directly in the center. If it sounds like it's coming a little more to the left or to the right side, then you need to adjust your speakers. Tonal balance is like speaker pairs, but maximized even more because it uses more speakers all at once. Making sure all the speakers sound balanced and that one side is not louder than the other. It supports up to 9.1.6 channels. Object panning is probably one of the coolest features of this disc and uses pink noise to travel around your room in a square and diamond shape at ear level. Then 50% ear level to make sure your ear level speakers are working properly along with your height speakers. And then 100% height only to test if your height speakers are working properly. So wherever that little yellow ball is traveling on screen, you should hear the pink noise from the exact location in your room. If not, then you need to make some height speaker adjustments. The torture test is the ultimate test to check your home theater system to see if it's calibrated correctly and to see if your speakers are in the right positions and set up properly. It uses pink noise and a voice to travel all around, diagonal, horizontal, up and down, moving around your room. Here I am, moving, 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 moving around your room. Here I am, just moving, moving around your room. Can you hear me? Moving through your room, moving. Through the room, moving through the room, I'm moving around your room. Here I am, moving, 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 moving around your room. Here I am, just moving, moving around your room. Can you hear me? Moving through your room, moving through the room, moving through the room, I'm moving around your room. Here I am, moving, 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 moving around your room. Here I am, just moving, moving around your room. Can you hear me moving through your room?
Here I am, moving, 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 moving around your room. Here I am, just moving, moving around your room. Can you hear me? Moving through your room, moving through the room, moving through the room. I'm moving around your room. Here I am, moving, 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 moving around your room. Here I am, just moving, moving around your room. Can you hear me? Moving through your room, moving through the room, moving through the room. I'm moving around your room. Here I am, moving, 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 moving around your room. Here I am, just moving. moving. Yo! So the next three categories on the disc are more like pro utilities that you can use. And you can use these alongside software like Room Equalizer Wizard. Impulse response is a quick sweep from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The sweep test is basically the same thing, but it's several impulse responses over and over. Periodic pink noise is a way to get pink noise out of a specific speaker. So you can run the test instead of using your receiver or software creating pink noise to use. You could of course do these three things using Room Equalizer Wizard, but it's much better to use this disc, especially if you're using 4K physical media to watch your movies. So what do I think of the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit? Well, I don't think this disc is for everyone. If you have a soundbar with two rear surrounds, a cheap out of the box home theater, or even the Sony HTA9, then this disc isn't for you. Soundbars typically have the left, right, center, and sometimes even height channels built into one enclosure. Often the rear surrounds might be two separate speakers that come with it. The Sony HTA9 has four speakers and uses spatial sound mapping to automatically measure and adjust the sound from your speaker to fit your room size. This calibration disc is geared towards those with more expensive and advanced home theaters with separate speakers for each channel. It's to help make sure all speakers are wired correctly placed correctly in the right areas in your room and are producing the correct sounds at the right times to reach your listening area. You can check to make sure even your surrounds and height channels are placed correctly and properly working to give you perfect sounding Dolby Atmos. It's for those pros who want the very best out of their home theater and if that's you then I highly recommend the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. You can use it in conjunction with your receiver's auto calibration to manually check the speakers and adjust the sound to be even better. After all, most of us enjoy 4K physical media for its superb image quality and uncompressed audio. What better way to adjust and check your home theater than by using this disc? And right now, if you visit SpatialCD.com and use promo code BLAZE10, you'll get 10% off the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit.